Good day. Welcome to Gaspit this morning again. I want to take this opportunity this morning and we've worked through all the aspects in the petroleum pricing. How does it work? What's the components and so forth? But I would like to give you a holistic view of how the pricing actually works and when the pricing changes on these specific items. We're standing on the eve of another big increase at the end of January 2022. So I'm using the January 22 figures to show you for the Petrona product ULP95. As we discussed, I've got all the components on the board of what the components to the fuel price consist out of. Now, the first one that we just discussed is actually BFP, the basic fuel price. Now in January 2022, the basic fuel price for 95 was 9 Rand and 3 cents. Within the calculations, there's a lot of more decimals behind the, the cents, so, but I'm not going to go in, into that detail. Now, BFP's components that makes it differ on a monthly basis will be your brand dollar as well as your crude oil pricing. That is the biggest component that makes price differences on a monthly basis those two on the BFP pricing. Once a year, there is an adjustment, normally in December, to the wholesale margin, which in this instance is 45.5 cents. Then we get the secondary storage. Secondary storage, that's where the fuel comes into the country and gets stored across the country. And the component contributing there is 30 0.76. Then we get the retail margin. The retail margin is the component that has been given to the fuel stations itself for running the operations. Here it is 2 Rand 28. Before I start confusing everyone, let me not mix my cents and my rand. So that's actually 30 cents, that's 45 cents, that's 9 rand and 3 cents. So I'm just going to keep it that we don't mix the cents and the rands. The retail margin normally tw changes twice in here. You normally get one in July, which is in regards to the labor component, and then normally in August they get a price change as, as well. Then we get the zone differential. To bring it to a content price, it is 64.9 so 64 almost 65 cents that's the price differential between coast and Gauteng then your IP tracer uh, levy is only charged in diesel so in the instance of 95 that will be zero and then we reach all the taxes that that we get Normally the taxes gets changed only once a year, normally with the budget speech, except the slate one. The slate one that is the levies for the industry, that's looking after the industry, those change as and when there's over and under recoveries on the industry funds. So for the fuel levy, that is 3 Rand 93. Customs and excise, is four cents. Road accident fund is two rand eighteen. Petroleum product levy is thirty three cents, and the slate is forty three eight. That one is one that changes frequently during the during the year. The rest of the stuff is relatively fixed except for the BFP. And then we get the DSML levy, that's the one to ensure try and discourage people using 95 and rather 93. That is a total of 10 cents. And then this gives you the pump price as you'll see in counting of 19 Rand 61. A lot of people ask me, so what does it really cost to produce fuel? 
And to a large extent, it would be the nine rand to produce the fuel. And then obviously you need to bring in some distribution costs into the whole equation. Otherwise you won't be able to distribute. So strictly speaking, the ones that is the taxes component would be these ones that I've indicated here. Also, as I said, this ones will change on a monthly basis. Also, margin secondary storage will change once a year, once a year. Retail margin will change twice a year. Zone differential more or less stays the same the whole year, which gives you also once a year adjustments. And then these ones, except for slate, will change once a year. That's normally when you see the budget as presented by the Minister of Finance. And then, then this one, for the last year, changed about four times in the, in the year. Currently, we're looking at quite another big increase in the price of petrol and diesel and sales eliminating paraffin. But that's going to be due to this. One, how the crude price is increasing, as well as the rand dollar is unfortunately moving the wrong way, which puts us in an under recovery of the fuel, which we'll see that in February 2022, we will receive another increase. Good luck, enjoy your day.